guys welcome to my channel um first off i want to say uh sorry for taking so long to do another video i know you guys probably been wondering what's been going on with me but as you can tell i've been in a car accident and i just made this video to kind of give you guys an update of what's going on and i know i'm on here looking bad face swollen and everything but i say what the heck i'm gonna stick to my promise and i'm wearing these shades y'all because i really look a hot mess but i didn't want to just come over on here looking too bad but um thank you guys for coming back to my channel for those who are new go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and also thanks for watching this video i'm gonna try not to make it too long but um i guess we could just go ahead and get right in and start the video so y'all know i'm a glamour girl so i <laughs> i had to put me a little lip gloss and something on to look nice for you guys but for those who don't know i have my own blind by beauty uh cosmetics line and i sell my own lip gloss and the lip gloss that i have on today and then i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you guys this is my cotton candy lip gloss mm, and it's so creamy and this is my cotton candy lip gloss um in a tube you can also find this on my website at www.blindbybeauty.com and purchase you some and it has a cotton candy flavor and i tell y'all it smells so good this is my favorite one and this is how it looks on my lips so guys let me tell you about this crazy accident that i was in about two weeks ago um i think it was on the 11th so if you live in atlanta you guys know that we've been having like a gas uh shortage and when i tell y'all i just only left the house to go get me some gas that was it now i'm literally two blocks up the street from my home two blocks like everything happened so fast i didn't even think you know like this what happened to me so after being irritated and staying in the line for like an hour trying to get gas, let me mind you, the first gas station that I went to didn't even, like when I was trying to get some gas, they ran out. So after staying in that long line, I had to leave that gas station and go find, um, I think I went to the Chevron. So I went to Chevron, stayed in the long line for about an hour, got me some gas. Right after I got my gas from there, like what a coincidence, I was the last person to be able to get some gas and they ran out of gas as well. So I'm on my way home, just, um, excuse me, just enjoying my day on the way home, trying to load up the cars because my mom was telling me that uh, it was hard finding gas. So she told me to go ahead and uh, fill up the car. So as I'm on the way home, it was like a long line and it had to be, it was another car accident that happened. So now I'm in that line for it, like 30 minutes. I'm in that long line. So if you know in Georgia, how the, uh, some of the roads they have where you either can go, cars can go up one way and the other cars can come back down this way. So it's just a two lane. You either can go up and you either come down. So I'm in the lane going up. Like I'm literally two blocks. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like two blocks. That's why I'm like, I'm, it's crazy because I'm literally two blocks from home. So while I'm in line, you know, the funny thing is we had a standstill. Um, I'm in line. I, my, um, you know, my sister tried to call me and you know by me driving now you know i couldn't talk to my sister or whatever so i was like well i'm almost home so let me try to find like a little faster route to get home so i went on ahead and put 
my address then to get home and like the block that I was I was at how I was like I was in a long line and when I had got up to the block where I could turn to go left so I could find a back road to go home they had this car speeding up she had to be going about 50 some miles per hour now we in a we you only can supposed to go 30 30 is the fastest you can go but think about it we at a standstill because it was an accident ahead of us and you could see that the cops was already directing traffic so here she comes speeding now mind you why i'm not looking for her to come on the side of me because like i said you either can go up or you can go down so if you in that lane beside me that means you only supposed to it only supposed to be traffic coming down this way not this way so if you in that lane that means you going on to ongoing traffic so when i come up to the turn i put on my signal to go left i'm trying to turn here she come speeding as i make the turn i didn't see her because i'm looking right i'm looking you know all the direction like it happened so doggone fast i'm like i'm really you know not worried about a car coming on the side of me going the same direction as me because you're not supposed to be going that way anyway so i'm as i'm turning i'm looking right to make sure no car coming down so as i come and i try to turn here she come flying i smacked the side of her car and my car flew left so my car twists around now i'm facing this way like i'm going back down the street when i actually was trying to turn to go up a street so after all that happened i'm shooken up because i'm like i know this didn't happen like what is this lady coming from she shouldn't even be coming down that road and what was that important that you couldn't wait like i did you know for the line to go down and then you know turn like it i mean we know people have places to go but it's not that serious to risk nobody else's life because i could have got hurt worse than what i'm already am now before i even get deep into all that after i wind up hitting her she gets mad at me because she's going up the wrong way so after the accident happened i'm like i'm not worrying about this lady right now my nerves bad i'm shaking i need to make sure i'm okay i don't have time to be arguing with some somebody who's not even going in the right direction so the cop seen everything like it was an accident one block up so the cop seen he automatically left that accident ran up to my car and asked was i okay and checked me out as i pulled over on the side so the cop already seen everything i didn't have to call the cop they was already on scene from the prior incident so when the cop went to ask her what happened now mind you i feel like the cop the cop already seen everything but i felt like he only asked her to see if she was gonna tell the truth you know this lady sit here and told that cop that i was going the wrong way and that's how i hit her now if i hit your passenger side and like i already explained how the rules were how in the heck i'm going the wrong way and i yeah, that's how i hit you he already knew that she was lying and she was full of it and i'm like you're an older woman the first thing i felt like you should did by you causing this accident i felt like you being an adult and you're older than me you should have came and seen if i was okay she was so mad she didn't even bother to see if i was okay was i heard nothing she stood in the car and she mean mugged me the whole time. And I'm like, why are you mean mugging me? I didn't do anything. You caused 
the act. Sorry guys, someone was calling my phone, so I had to start over. But um, back to what I was saying. My thing was, you caused the accident. The least you could have did was check on me, not me mug me from a, a rear view mirror. So that was just, it was just all crazy. So once the cops got my information and they clearly seen that she was lying, they went on ahead and gave the lady a ticket and told me to go to the hospital. So that's how everything went. I was able to try to get, since I wasn't too far from the house, I was able to get the car home and my husband took me to the hospital. And that's when I find out I have uh, injuries to the neck and we did some x-rays and I actually, my hip is out of place and my spine is bent. So I'm pretty messed up. Um, Sunday, I actually go do my um, MRI. So hopefully we can find out and uh, get more information, but y'all, it's been crazy. I haven't been getting any sleep at all because of this accident. And it's been a uh, very painful and it's stressful because I just was about to start back working and now this happened and knowing that it's going to take a while for me to actually get back on my feet. It's kind of irritating, but um, I'm just lucky and I'm glad to be alive and be able to uh, tell this story. And also later on, like a couple of days later, I found out that the person who was in the accident ahead of me actually died. And it was the same situation as mine. So it really, really touched real close to home for me. And because I'm like, that could have been me. And I just got in lost, same situation. He didn't lost his life dealing with an impatient driver. The worst part about his accident was that they actually hit him head on and his car, I seen his car and his car was totaled. So, you know, may God be with his family. Hopefully y'all guys can pray for his family as well. But, you know, me coming and, and actually seeing that, you know, it really hurts because I'm like, we was in the same, same kind of situation with a driver being careless, not thinking about others just that he died and I came out alive, but have some serious injuries. So, you know, that's kind of been uh, bothering me a lot. And I just, you know, I thank God every day to be able to talk to you guys, you know, with even when me looking a hot mess and swollen, but at least I'm able to talk about mine. You know, the sad thing, he can't tell the story like I'm being able to tell my story. So, basically, guys, this was pretty much uh, the reason why I made this video to kind of give you guys an update. I'm going to continue to update you guys on my health. And hopefully, I can get back into doing some of my videos sooner. But um, I really, really appreciate you guys. And I hope that you guys go through this journey with me and help me uh, stay motivated because it's hard. Like, I don't even wanna drive, I'm depressed, everything. And I'm just trying to find ways to, you know, get it off my mind. But uh, all you guys who've been supporting me, it really, you know, helps a lot. And especially like my family, they all been by my side. So it's been a plus. And I also wanna shout out my lawyer called Better Scott. Thank you so much, Better Scott. If you guys ever get into an accident, make sure you hit them up. When I tell y'all, they have been calling me every day, keeping me updated with my case, checking on me, everything. They even sent me a nice little gift in the mail yesterday. And I'm gonna show you some of the goodies they gave me. So I thought that was really cool and nice. So I said, I'm, I'm rolling out in style. I said, they must have knew I was a diva. They could feel the diva -ness. <laughs> Yeah, I still got this neck brace on. I'm still acting crazy. So in the box, y'all, 
this is what I received. So it's a blanket with Bader Scott logo on it. And I'm gonna take it out the box so you can see everything. And I have two little nice, um, I call them coffee cups is keep your drinks cold and warm. So I was able to get two of these. I will be using these. My husband already trying to jack me out of one. <laughs> But that was so nice. And this is my blanket, my little throwover blanket that they gave me. And it's a nice size. I don't wanna open up all the way. I really can't cause my arms and stuff is hurting. But you guys see, and this is their logo. So like I said, if you is in Atlanta area, go ahead and check them out. They are very awesome. You know, they check on you, they get the job done, and they are very helpful. So go ahead and tell them that I sent you. So they can give me a little something, something, cause I'ma need something. <laughs> I'ma need a little something, something after this. <laughs> little donation. Give me a little donation. <laughs> But y'all, I'm gonna go ahead on and stop this video because I need to take my medicine. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Like I said, go ahead and check my um my store, Blind by Beauty, my online store, and get your lip gloss. It's popping. My lips always popping. It's very moisturizing and creamy i love that so get right for the summer get right for the summer baby look even though i gotta wear this i'm gonna wear this in style we gonna shine in style i ain't letting nothing hold me back y'all know that but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video y'all y'all have a nice day stay prayed up and go ahead Hit that like button and subscribe, share with a friend, and go ahead and shop with me on my um, online store. Bye.